The Gamma K TK75 and TK68 HE are new entries into the budget gaming scene as trying to be a more affordable version of the Wooting 60HE featuring their rapid trigger and customizable actuation force. All this can be bought for the low price of around $100 retail and on sale for around $90 at the moment of recording this video. With that being said, they sent this over to me for my honest review, so let's get right into it. Inside the box you get the keyboard itself, a manual, the wire, and a switching keycap puller. Pretty bare bones, but you get all that you really need. The keyboard itself comes with this nice light blue and dark blue accent modifier keys with a simple black on white keycap set for the alphas. The keyboard kit itself is pretty standard and there's nothing really unique or different about it, but it gets the job done. And there is a volume knob too, so if you're wanting a volume knob, that's something that the Wooting 60HE does not have. Let's get into stuff that I kind of didn't like about this keyboard. So first off, the stabilizers come bone dry they have no lube on them whatsoever and have a lot of rattle. One comment in the reviews on their own website said that their spacebar came without a stabilizer wire. I don't know if that was just a fluke in the system, but kind of worrisome if someone's already reporting that when the keyboard just came out. Now I did say that the keyboard is offered in a 75 or 65% layout, but no matter what you add to your cart when you use Gamma K's website, it will automatically default to 75% with the magnetic mercury switch. I'm not too sure why this bug exists, but if you did want to purchase the magnetic phoenix switch version or the 65% version, I'll be leaving a link to their Amazon listing, which does have that option available and works for you in the description below along with the Gamma K's website. Now with that out of the way, the keycaps are pretty solid actually. There's nothing really bad about them. I will say that they are quite smooth to the touch, but thickness and quality of the printing is definitely there. The keyboard also does feature a thousand hertz polling rate for gaming. It also has south facing hot swap sockets, which means you can use any Hall effect switch you can think of if you don't like the ones it comes with. But going back to more negative stuff, even though this keyboard has foam, the keyboard still sounds very hollow. And even though the switches have box stems, there is very noticeable stem wobble on the switch in all directions. So you do hear that when typing sometimes, or you can sort of feel it when typing as well. And it just does not sound the greatest. Here's a quick sound test you guys can hear what I'm referring to. So like I said, very hollow, stabilizers are very rattly and are bone dry. So in the sound department, it is definitely a work in progress. If you are willing to put in that work, there is definitely a lot of potential because in the actual performance of this keyboard, it delivers a pretty solid experience for that rapid trigger and more gamer featured focused keyboards with the changing of the actuation force and there is a software now the software is very bare bones and does look pretty sketchy if i do say so myself you can just use the presets that they have already made for you for game mode or casual and they work perfectly fine with that being said though while the performance is definitely there and it delivers on that whether or not you're willing to put in all the work it's going to take to make this keyboard not only perform good but also sound and feel good is up to you i will leave me a link to it in the description below like I mentioned before if you wanted to check it out but let me know what you guys thought about the Gamma K TK75 HE in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.